Alright guys, uh, this is going to be a video on my homemade breeding tank. Uh, this is an interesting design I thought of. I've never seen anything like this on YouTube and it was so simple I just don't know how it hasn't been posted before. So basically I used a regular 20 gallon long uh, fish tank, uh, non-reef ready, that I divided with uh, black acrylic panels. Uh, if you know how to make a sump, you can make this very easily. So basically, the first uh, wall is the highest, the second one is, is a quarter inch shorter so that it goes uh, just like a sump does, higher to lower to lowest. And I also put these egg crates uh, so that the fish can't jump over. And then I used a hang on back refugium to get the water to go. It sucks in from here through this pump, flows back into the refugium, and normally it would just go back into your tank. But I use this to keep the flow uh, going pretty much like a, a reef ready, almost like a reef ready uh, fish tank. And inside there, I'm not going to do a refugium. Uh, I'm just going to keep carbon, uh, probably some purigen, um, and I'll come up with the, uh, some walls I can put in between so I can put filter floss and it'll pass through it and uh, clean some of the water. Right now I put a, and you can barely see it, a piece of uh, carbon uh, pads over the intake of the filter. There we go. So that it does some cleaning. Uh, cleans the water out a little bit. So you'll notice this water here is a little bit lower. I actually have to fill it up just because of evaporation. Uh, once a day, probably a quarter, uh, less than a, a quarter, I mean a, a water bottle or so, one of those 16 ounces. And these guys are already made it and spawned once or twice before. And they love their flower pot. These two black ones I just took out uh, my 28 nano and I put them in here. All my flower pot's not in there yet because it's uh, inside of a bucket of salt water being cured. You don't want to put them directly into the fish tank. It makes a whole bunch of bubbles and I'm not, I'm not sure that's great for the fish. There's just a rock in there right now because uh, I don't have any fish in there and I took these fish out of an another tank that had the rock in there just to keep the biological filtration going. I'll probably end up sticking that rock into the refugium when I get another pair to put in here. Possibly a black clownfish and a regular clownfish or a snowflake clownfish. Who knows? They came out of a 28 gallon nano that was over here with corals and the clownfish. I took down the 28 nano, put the corals into this uh, 12 gallon nano. It's a lot cleaner, and this will just be a little frag tank. Not that I need one, because I've got a full-sized Reef Ready one right there. Um, this just looks awesome, though. I like it. And uh, that's uh, basically how you can make an all-in-one, almost an all-in-one uh, breeding setup. The, here's something I would have done different, though, and I think I might change it in the future. To get keep some of this dirt from settling at the bottom, what I would do and what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make this, modify this refugium, uh, just take some PVC from uh, Lowe's and attach it and make it go all the way to where it's like a, an inch above the water, I mean the floor, so that it keeps the bottom, um, keeps the water movement down there and keeps the fish poop and detriots floating in the water so they can flow back over here. Um, I'm not sure how I'll get the water flow at the bottom to be strong there. I might have to put a power head in there. I just don't want to have to put power heads in all three. Uh, the whole point of the setup is to use as little electricity and resources as possible. And for this one, for the return, I would actually get a longer PVC as well and make it go all the way to the bottom, just an inch or so, to keep the uh, fish uh, feces from settling at the bottom. So that covers both of those, uh, those sides to keep them clean, but the middle one will more than likely need a power head, one of the smallest ones I could find, 
the Coralia. I have some small Coralia, uh, but it's too powerful for such a small uh, for such a small tank. Uh, I keep a couple snails in there. Cool thing about them, they go up and down over the chamber walls and eat where they need to eat and clean where they want to clean. Uh, the crab, they're kind of stuck prisoner in each in each location. That's actually the filter from the uh, hang on back filter from a 10 gallon I had these two guys in along with the rock. And uh, so I got black clownfish and white clownfish and this looks pretty cool. And it was, I didn't spend a penny on making it besides the uh, acrylic which I paid nine bucks for both panels of the acrylic. Um, everything else I had including the light, the light bulb which is a three watt LED 5000K I use for my refugium. Got great results with it. And uh, I'll update this when I get another pair of clownfish. Here's my blood shrimp. This guy is awesome. He has been with me for about a year and uh, he's a really cool one to watch. Actually,